Hey guys, what's up? This is Timo Denk and in this video tutorial I'm going to explain how you can transmit data from one transmitter to multiple receivers using the Arduino wireless module shown on the right hand side. On this slide you can see the whole system setup and the difficult thing about the project is that all receivers are working on the same frequency and that means that all receivers are getting the same data. Therefore there's a need of some sort of a protocol and before we dive into the details, I want to show you a quick demonstration which uh, shows that the whole thing actually works. On the top left there are the two receivers and on the bottom right there is the transmitter. And when I push this button of the battery, you can see that the two LEDs start to shine. And with this little joystick down there, I can adjust the brightness of the two LEDs independently, although both um, receivers are working on the same frequency. And you can see that it's pretty much real time. When I slide this, uh, when I yeah, move this joystick around, the brightness of the LEDs changes according to it. This is achieved without any wires between the Arduinos. So the three Arduinos are completely independent from each other and they are just connected through the wireless modules. This illustration shows the protocol which the system is using and it's pretty simple. Every packet has a fixed size and the first byte is the receiver ID while the remaining bytes um, are the data. There is some timing to care about. After sending a packet the transmitter has to wait for some time um, until transmitting the next packet because this time is used by the receivers to recognize the end of the packet and sometimes work with it. So I want to talk about the code swiftly. Here you can see some definitions um, for the transmitter code. And inside the loop function you can see two calls to the send value function. They, the first one sends to the um, receiver number one and the second one to the second receiver. And the second parameter passed to the function is the actual value, in this case containing two bytes, which is an integer on the, on the Arduino. And uh, Inside the send value function, it looks like so. We have a output buffer, which is essentially the protocol. The first part is the receiver ID and the two remaining parts are the data. So the integer value is split up into two parts and then transmitted using the virtual wire library function VW send. And then it's waited until the whole thing is gone. And then the timing, which I mentioned earlier, there's a little delay in there. The receiver code is a little bit more complex. There are also a lot of definitions um, in the setup and yeah, then the actual setup function. The receiver ID, which is written in bold on the left side of the slide, is the thing that varies from receiver to receiver because every receiver should have a unique ID here. Inside the loop function, the first if checks whether there is new data incoming and the second if checks if there are too many bytes received, in which case the input buffer is being flushed. If the um, correct size of bytes was received, there are the, the, by, the new bytes are written into the input buffer. And if the input buffer length matches the packet length, then there is a whole package received. So the um, receiver checks whether the receiver ID, the first byte of the packet, equals its own ID. So that means that the package is determined to be read by this receiver. And if this is the case, now we are on the right side of the slide the packet, con packet content is being read and interpreted and in this case just printed over the serial monitor while in my example it was used to um, change the brightness of the LED. And on the third slide there is just the flush, buffer fu flush input buffer function and yeah, yeah I don't want to discuss it I just included it to have the whole thing here in the presentation. This is it for this video tutorial. Here you can see the source code link. Feel free to check it out and use it for your projects. And if you want to contact me, you can do that on my website. For now, I'd say thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.